that's why Ken Webster and his team is here. They're from out in Red Deer, Alberta, Canada, and that's like, you know, 2,500 miles from here. And they said it's on his bucket list. George wanted to come here. Two father and sons on this team with George Goodwin and his son, Tom, and then with Wally and Ryan Brooks, the crew chiefs on this. They've come a long way. They got great help from the folks out there in Canada. And Alec and Bob from Edmonton came with them. They're sitting in the grandstands. They got a tough customer right here because Frank Manzo, but he has not made it down the track in his last two runs. That guy. Last time Frank Manzo was taken out of the national event, it was a guy from another country like Ken Webster. We're talking Steve Harker last year at the Big O in India in the semifinal. I like that a lot. I was going to guess the guy from Bangladesh. Frank does it again. Big numbers. 556, 262 miles an hour. You're looking at low elapsed time, top speed of the weekend. Yeah, that was just a very solid race. And it shouldn't surprise anybody because he very rarely goes three rounds in a row. He was scuffing in some tires, thought he had the problem solved, came out for the last round, didn't. And again, congrats to the guys all the way down from Canada. They gave him a good run. 576, but just not enough down at the top end of the racetrack as Webster was bait up for that. So Frank Mark Billington. We'll meet up, and again, it's a long ride back there to Canada, but another something to check off the to-do list there for the folks on that great team with Ken Webster. Now let's take a look at our semifinal matchups along with the ETs that each driver will bring in to the semifinals. And with 556, Frank Manzo will pick his lane over Mark Billington, like you just said. Clint Thompson, another 550 player there. On the other side, he will pick his lane over John Bojack as Frank climbs out at the top end. 